Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Profit Fridays. Uh, if you tuned in last week, we did an, an overview, an introduction to the prophetic books, which range from Isaiah all the way to Malachi. It's a huge section of scripture that is, um, yeah, really incredible and powerful and points to Jesus. But we also talked about how, and for a number of reasons, um, the prophetic books can be very hard for us to read and wrap our minds around sometimes. Uh, I actually want to take the next two years and, and emphasize how can we understand and read uh, the prophets well. And so we're going to try to tie that each week into uh, our, our Bible reading for that week. Um, but uh, I want to look at overall themes and patterns and words and ideas um, and context and history as we're going through it. Uh, and so uh, each day that we're reading, we're going to be talking about a different uh, subject or a different topic um, relating to what we just read, even though we may not get into the nitty gritty details of those passages that we are to read. So for example, today, uh, I just wanted to talk about one idea. Our reading is uh, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 1, all the way to chapter 4, verse 1. And the idea I want to talk about today is actually what, where do these prophets get their prophecy from? Where does prophecy come from? How, how does that actually work? And if you're reading through along uh, those, uh, those four chapters, um, we're, we're told in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 1, it says, The vision concerning Judah and Jerusalem that Isaiah, son of Amos saw during the reign of King Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Uh, so in chapter 1, verse 1, we are told that Isaiah is, has a vision. He's been given a vision. Uh, just flip over to the next chapter, chapter 2. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos saw concerning um, Judah and Jerusalem. So he saw something, something visible or another vision. As you continue to read, um, you see... Um, all throughout the prophetic books, they have different ways of expressing how they receive these prophetic words. The most common formula is a little phrase that said, the word of the Lord came to X, came to Jeremiah, came to Isaiah or whatever, uh, that the word of the Lord came. But we see this formula worked out in different ways. Sometimes they hear God's voice in an audible way that God says to so-and-so, say this to the people. Sometimes they have a vision. Sometimes, like in the book of Daniel, Daniel uh, is given dreams. He, he falls into a, a state of slumber and he has a dream where he sees and hears God talking to him. Uh, and in other ways, there's, there's, there's other things that people experience where angels come and physically appear and they give them a, a word or a phrase or a sentence uh, to speak to the people. Or they, they are praying one day and they're taken up in the spirit. Um, and there's all these different ways that uh, pr the, these prophetic words are communicated. They're not ever um, always the same which is quite remarkable. It's through all these various forms of communication, all these methods, God speaks. Um, and as he speaks, these prophets are called to share uh, this knowledge with those around them. So why is this important to us? Well, I think it's important for two reasons. One, uh, Paul, the, the Apostle Paul emphasizes how uh, prophecy is one of um, the ways that God gifts um, certain believers, that some people have this gift where they put their hand up and say, God, I want to be used by you. Use me to speak to others. And God gives them um, these messages, whether it's just in their own minds or whether it's a vision or whether it's an audible word or something, that God puts, lays something on somebody's heart that they are called to share, to speak. Uh, into the lives of others. And we'll talk about more about what prophecy actually means uh, in, a later, in a later one. Uh, but essentially, this is a gift that the church, people, certain people within the church are called to use. And so, maybe if that is a gift that God's been given you, that 
you have heard the word of the Lord, have you seen a vision, or, or whatever it may be, that you, and you feel compelled to share it, uh, Paul says, use it to build up and edify the church. Uh, the second reason why um, knowing how prophecy works uh, is important is because, well, it's important to know that God speaks in all sorts of ways and manners. There's not just one single way that God communicates with us. Um, God communicates in, in, in audible words, in, in visions, in dreams, in, in, through praying, through his word. And ultimately, we're told that uh, God has shown himself to us in the person of Jesus. And so God wants to tap into all the different ways of com communicating and, and let us know through all of these different various methods and measures that he has something to say to us and he wants us to pay attention and listen. And so maybe God is speaking to you as you open up God's word and, and you read through Isaiah uh, these first couple of chapters, maybe God has a word for you. Or maybe just when you're out on a walk and uh, you are just in nature and, and you're taking in the beauty of that around you, maybe God is saying something to you there. Or maybe it's through prayer or, or personal devotional time. Or maybe it's through a church service or maybe it's through the word of a friend. But the, the constant thing is that God is always communicating. He's always trying to speak and get your and my attention. So the question is, are you listening? So uh, that is our devotional for today, and we'll see you around next week. Bye.